Can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah. Can you just talk about your friendship with Mookie and why you're coming out here today? Um, you know, yeah, me and Mookie go back to you know 2018 with the Red Sox, and he was a big uh, influence on me you know, coming out with LA. Um, so just come here to help support his, his cause. How much was he part of sort of the drink that just bring you over there? How much was he actually in the Yeah, I mean, me and Mook have been friends for since 2018. You know, we, we built a bond there that something you know, I have for the rest of my life. You know, we'll have for the rest of my life. So we always kind of joked about it and talked about it. And then when it was kind of, you know, coming to create, getting real, that was when it's kind of like, you know, we were talking a lot more about it. And it was... He was definitely in the mix the whole time. Yeah, um, you know, Rob's been you know, my best friend too for 2013, 14, you know, so obviously him too, him and Rob, him and Mookie were definitely in the, in the high recruiting phase for me. Uh, so it's cool, you know, I'm always tied with them and fortunately for me, I'm in a part of my career where I just want to win and you know that was one of the main decisions on coming out here was, you know they the Dodgers put a great team on the field every year and I want to win you know I'm getting to the back end of my career and I know this is a really good chance and you know I know I can have fun and enjoy you know my last two three years in baseball and I win another World Series. Um, it was the main one, you know, I, I didn't want to be on a team that was going to be rebuilding. Um, I didn't want to be on a team that was going to be trying to see where we're going. We don't know how we're going to be. We think we're going to be good. Like, I want to be on a team that's going to be in the run for it. And it's going to be right there come October. Um, that was my main thing. That was literally my main focus when I told Andrew. When I talked to Andrew on the phone. I said, I'm doing this because I believe in you guys and I believe in you and the team that you put on the field every year. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, the rumors were going around last year. And it was one of those things where, you know, we were in a spot with Boston where it's tough to leave. Uh, so that at the same time, you understand why they do trade you if they do trade you. And it's it's a cool spot because, at a, you know, flick of a finger, you're in, you're in a playoff contention team. Um, and that was something to be excited about too. Uh, so you always knew it was always in the back of my head that you know I could end up here. Uh, but you know, I'm happy. This is what I wanted to be, and uh, this is where I ended up. Yeah. That was, you know, one of the main things is Andrew, you know, kind of talked to me about it, and it's something that always come naturally for me um, on every team I've been on. Um, you know, I've helped a lot of younger guys, and a lot of guys kind of gravitate, you know, to me, especially when it comes to offensive side of things. So it's, it's that, that part is something that I don't even think about. I just be me, and it kind of happens. Miguel Vargas, one of those guys that's already kind of reached out to you, works with you live in Miami. What sort of led to that? How quick sort of things? Yeah, um, kind of uh, Rob and uh, Chris, the hitting coach here, he, they kind of like were always telling me about this kid, Bargy, and how much he like looks up to you and how much he idolizes you. And it kind of happened when uh, Rob came down to uh, Fort Lauderdale to do some work. After I signed, he brought Bargy out and we kind of hit it off. He's just a very humble kid, great kid. Um, you can tell he comes from a good family and a lot of talent. Um, I'm excited about him. You know, I, I've talked to Zoggies about him personally, and I think he could be something special. You know, he's got great tools and great ability.